This weekly is yet again providing us with some new twists on old archetypes. Traditional snipes take the form of crocodile, lynx, and blowfish, and while these still are incredibly strong this weekly, we found a new snipe support pet that redefines the build. The kraken removes health from all other pets, so if the kraken triggers before your snipe lineup, it will soften their defenses allowing for the snipes to almost guaranteed one shot. Give the kraken a skewer and he becomes a cleanup pet capable of taking out the remainder of the weakened pets. Okay, start me with a beaver otter. Basilisk, maybe? Maybe that'll be good. Cruising bludgers. Is that like bludgers from Harry Potter? Is that what they're getting at? That is what they're called, right? In Quidditch. Honestly, not like super familiar. <laughs> Hold back the booze. Um, I guess we start here. Don't hit you. Thank you, of course. Of course, of course. Can't help but feel like we're getting the short end of the stick with these trades. <laughs> oh, man. That's all right, though. You're still at five. Still at five hearts, can't be too worried about that. Um, let's go here, and we have the snail ready. Let's actually get a big foot out here. We can benefit from the snail health. Mm, kangaroo early, that'll get you. Oh, that's just more snail health for us. Level you. Level you. And then I think we sell you. Your 5, 6. And we really aren't keeping many of these guys, so the attack doesn't help much. But I think we still do it. Yeah, those aren't great hits. Um, and then we can go Elephant, because we don't actually want its ability right now. So then our Basilisk will turn the Elephant into a stone. Okay, good hits. Alright, we're cooking. We're getting back in it. So we're gonna get rid of the Snail here, I'm thinking. Most likely. Or are we? I mean, we're probably going to lose again at some point, right? Statistically speaking. So maybe we should keep him. I mean, I like the ox here. I don't think it's really going to cut it. Especially considering how many snipes there are. Get some more health kicking out here. Sure, I think this is good. If we lose, maybe we'll get another snail. Okay, so we're definitely low on attack, I'm coming to realize. Alright, so we're looking for a snail here. Snail me. Hmm, I don't think I like either of these that much. Got a level. Found a hatching chick too, which is pretty solid. Okay, so we're only getting health now. <laughs> which simply cannot be a good way to handle this. Okay, we actually win that somehow. That is just a miracle in itself. Okay, get rid of you. Grab a cow, grab a hatching chick. This is where we start to pivot. This is where we shine, if you will. Lynx seems alright. I 
I'm, I'm stacking up the elephant a little primarily to aid in a little blowfish action if we find one. Just kind of preparing in case we do. Looking good. Three hearts is a nice place to be. Speaking of, <laughs> a blowfish. Here we go. I mean, I guess it's probably get rid of the snail territory. Which, I mean, of course we're going to lose immediately after we do, but... I think that's alright. I think we're... We like where we're at right now. Okay, good snipe, good snipe. <laughs> this blowfish hates that guy. <laughs> He said, screw the, this kangaroo in particular. Hilarious. Okay. Um, we could go for like a snapping turtle skewer kind of vibe. Considering we haven't found any more hatching chicks, I don't mind getting rid of him. On a Bigfoot. See if we can get a level up. The Bigfoot wouldn't be a level. That is a level up. Tiger, always nice. Pineapple, always nice. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Not too bad. Um, I don't think... These two are doing a whole lot yet, but I think that's primarily because of our blowfish. He's just not cooking quite hard enough as of yet. But I think if we do this, that'll help. And then we go here. Alright, this looks pretty good. You'd have to imagine this gets us somewhere, right? Well, apparently not. We're just getting outclassed with these snipes here. Um, start me out here, actually. Octopus, I normally would be like, that's fantastic. But straight up, octopus is never going to attack. Fortunately, we got sniped yet again. Kind of just the trend of the weekly at this point. I mean, we're looking for a lynx. We're looking for a blowfish here. Let's see if we can find any of them. Blowfish counts. <laughs> we found a ton of chocolate, too. So if we don't get like hard sniped, I feel like we're doing pretty good. Good, good. That's fine. We'll take a draw, I guess, at this point. So we go here, and then we go here. Huge power spike. And I think we just roll it out. Okay, that looks pretty good. This is what I mean, there's way too many snipes this weekly. It's absolutely insane. Start me out with a seahorse. Ooh, seahorse basilisk otter combo. Let's be some circular astronauts. Maybe now that our basilisk has two health, it won't get insta-sniped by mosquitoes. Though they'll probably have a level two and they'll both hit him. If I had to guess. <laughs> They're just out here wilding. Uh, I think this is pretty solid. Maybe we can snipe somebody now too. 
Ew. Ooh, Mosquito Snipe actually just clutched that one so hard. That is wonderful. Okay, go here. Throw Bigfoot in the mix. See what you got. Ooh, another Bigfoot. I mean, I'm gonna go kind of crazy here. Run something like this. Basilisk me. See, if we run two Bigfoots, we get two rerolls. <laughs> see? See what I'm doing here? Hey, he's got a kangaroo. That's gonna happen. I don't know why his elephant isn't in the back, though. It's a little... suspicious, I would say. Um, we have our own kangaroo if we want it. I don't think we do, though. Hello, me? Catching chick. Uh, I mean, we'll definitely hold on to him. Not gonna play him yet, but... Yeah, I wish we could. I'll freeze him, just in case. But... That's probably not gonna happen. Okay, maybe it will happen. The one time that losing is actually kind of not an issue. Love it. Roll me. Might be getting rid of Seahorse here. Level me. Um, we could run a Lynx. Lynx might not actually be bad here. Straight up, I don't know if the one health actually matters. I guess, okay, we have an Avocado. I don't mind running it like this. I like getting the extra health in these guys. Maybe it'll make the difference. Probably not, but... Man, we're just... The math is horrendous right now. <laughs> we're getting absolutely memed on over here. Um, okay. Roll me. Level. I mean, we probably run the blowfish here. Let's do a pivot. Huge level up, thank you. Into a blowfish. <laughs> I really hope we don't need this snail. <laughs> really hoping. Let's run it like this. So basically, we're either going to come back here and it's going to be fantastic, or we're going to get nuked. Hopefully, it's looking like it might be the, the previous option. Go here. Give you a pineapple. Straight up, give you this guy, too. Freeze it, actually. Roll a couple times. If we find a blowfish, I think that's better. Yeah. Because now you deal six damage. And that's pretty good. Um, I think this makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is good. We got some snipes cooking in here. Hopefully we get some hatching chicks too. That'd be kind of cool. Big snipe on the jumper back there. Okay. We're on the up and up. Start me here. And then roll me. I think we're just rolling here. All right, I think hatching chick should be our target here. If we can find some hatching chicks, that would be huge. Maybe freeze an avocado. Okay, we didn't find anything at all. Turn five is gonna be better for us, I'm hoping. Okay, I mean, we're looking pretty good here. Our blowfish is big enough. Ooh, yes, please, and thank you. Give you some more health. Ooh, okay. All right, this is kind of cracked, actually. Hold up. I mean, Puma's tempting. We don't have any toys, though. 
So for that reason, I'm not sure if that's gonna really cut it for us. I think it's time to call it on the hatching chick, unfortunately. Um, we're only one more, see if we find anything. We did not. Yeah, we have a lot of levels right now. I think it's worth it. We'll just accept our blowfish doing zero damage <laughs> without his passive. But I mean, that's fine, right? His passive is the damage dealer anyways. Roll me. I think this is the right play. Hold on to the cow, of course. We can buff up our blowfish a bit. Ooh, thank you. Okay, so we haven't found any stingrays. And for that reason, I think we just say no thank you. And bail on that whole toy build ideology. Okay, good snipes. The only guy left is our front unit. Okay, ooh, that is wonderful. Thank you. Tiger is huge. Um, start with another level here. I don't think that's really the vibe. Tell you what. You're dealing two, four, six, eight, nine damage twice. Make it 11 damage twice. Hold on to you. And I think we grab pineapple as well. I mean, we're going straight up snipes out here. <laughs> this is full on snipe territory. We had the tiger, might have pushed it over one way or the other, but not sweating it. Do a little buy sell. The blowfish is going to be our champion here. And then probably throw the tiger on you, I would think. Maybe. This is kind of ridiculous, but I love it too. Okay, we go here. Now we have a ton of rerolls. I think we're straight up just looking for, yeah, like this kind of thing. Blowfish. Lynx. Lynx. <laughs> this is insane. But I love it. I love every second of it. I think snipes are definitely the vibe this weekly, which I can't say feels entirely unique from other weeklies, <laughs> right? Um, that's huge. We get a blowfish? No. Well, you can rock a lynx. No worries there. I guess we probably want the tiger behind the lynx now, don't we? The end of the day, the Lynx survives. Yeah, because now that we're getting a ton of levels, the Lynx is doing more damage than the Crocodile is, which is kind of crazy. I mean, yeah. Bull send, let's do it. I'm telling you, anytime we get this level 3 Bigfoot, just absolutely cracked. Okay, we draw here. And now we're still getting some power spikes cooking. I think we're rolling. I mean, it's really just like a tiger angle, right? If we can get tigers, we'll send it. Normally you could throw like a stake on somebody, 
But there's so many snipes, there's no reason to. Like, we're not even attacking. <laughs> Nobody is... I don't think I've seen anybody actually attack more than, like, twice in a turn. For the past, I don't even know how long. Unfortunately, our Bigfoot didn't faint last round, so we don't actually have many rerolls. We go here. Alright, if we lose this one, we've got full level 3 squad. Something tells me we probably won't. <laughs> oh gosh, this is an issue. We have uncovered quite the issue. Oh, we got the Bigfoot level up, or achievement. Careful guys, <laughs> this weekly is looking a little dangerous. This seems pretty solid, I would argue. Um, grab an otter. I don't mind adding either one. We'll be some motherly investors. <laughs> when you just really need to get that. Oh, dude, that was an insane seahorse. What the heck? Just flip them around and throw them back in. All right. I see you. I think we do this, and then we have a level up for next turn. Should be all right. Now that should do it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, these seahorses are screwing with our basilisk out here. Dark me with a level. Early hatching chick is huge. Um, throw you in, throw you in. I think we run it like this. Yeah, I don't need any of these. Drop bear had his day. It is past. And we do have enough from our otter, which is barely, but barely is what pays the bills, so here we go. Here, we don't have any fish, don't need them. Roll me. This might be a stilt angle, I'm not entirely sure yet. I don't want to get rid of the pigeon yet, because he's our highest attack guy. And it goes well with the basilisk. Maybe we just roll a little bit. I don't know if we want that. Um, roll one more. We did find that. Let's get rid of the otter. At least get some sort of scale potential cooking up. Okay. That, that elephant's gonna do work, I think. And not the good kind. Alright, level me here. There's our Kraken. That's huge. It's probably time to get rid of the pigeon, right? And then we can go... <laughs> I'm not sure who I want to put these on. Put it on the Kraken, because we want him to go first when we get our snipes going. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Alright, they're really selling this Kraken build to me. <laughs> So we need to make sure this, this works. They're really just like, hey, you ever heard of this, uh, Kraken? <laughs> Here's another one. Here's another one, too. Um, okay. I think we combine here. Give me one more roll. Something good, please. That is, in fact, not something good. Yeah, I'm not liking any of this. I mean, maybe we just look for some summons. I'll keep the snail just in case. I don't have high hopes right now. We don't have any summons, so his aardvark is useless. That's a start. Hmm, not quite, though. Okay, well our snail is online, <laughs> that's something. Let's sell you. 
Throw the snail in. Bigfoot ain't too bad. Let's roll one more. I honestly don't mind a banana here. It's really just gonna be, you know, you get an extra 4-4. Four, four. Summons are great with Kraken. Summons and Snipes both. Okay. Dude, we are so close. It is not quite happening. Um, we can go some drink me liquid, I think. Not another one though, that's that's a little much. There's the links. Grab you. There's our Kraken. Okay, now we're starting to get somewhere. Now, is it going to be enough? That's the follow-up question. It's just... It's not... Okay, that one worked out, but the math is not mathing yet. Now, hopefully with this follow-up Kraken, it will math a little better. We do see our snapping turtle coming through. We can run it like this. Eagle's tempting. I don't think it's going to be the play, though. We going for level 3 Bigfoot? I reckon probably not. There it is. Alright, this is the Kraken that we know and love. Coming through a little bit. Um, we did find our hatching chick. That's huge. We do this, and then hold on to our chocolate. Yeah, I like this. I'm thinking we're probably not going to be cooking this Bigfoot long term. He'll probably switch for a croc or something. Okay, fantastic. That's more like it. Now we're doing something. Start here. And hold on to the chocolate for just a second. Do we have our team spirit instead of Bigfoot here? It's possible. I think it might be worth it, actually. Because we're going to have a ton of level ups coming up here. Okay. I'll keep Bigfoot in for a second just so we can get the the extra rerolls. But yeah, it, it's coming out soon. This is insanity. We have the same build. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Okay, so now we're going here. And a little flashlight. And a little team spirit. Octopus? I don't think I don't think there's a play for the octopus here. As much as I would love to. Eagle maybe. Just maybe. Give everybody 2-4, not too bad. And the beauty of it is we don't even care if they snipe all the bat guys. They're basically just cannon fodder anyways. Hold on to you. Now we're looking to get the links cooking. I don't think it's a level 3 team spirit angle. Hmm. I don't, I don't like any of those. I guess I could have frozen the crocodile. I just don't know if crocodile or the... The eagle is better. I can't decide. 
Crocodile feels more rewarding, I think. Maybe that's reason enough, you know? Though we could get Eagle online right now. <laughs> no, I think we do Crocodile. Yeah. I say full send Croc. We got our use out of team spirit. I mean, that's... None of that's going to do for us. That'll do. And the Kraken stands at the end of the day. Kraken's just built different like that. like this and then we're looking for a pineapple for a crocodile pineapple would be fantastic could have had a couple team spirit level threes at this rate there's been a lot of options here we don't need them not necessary Put you back here, looking for crocodiles. Any crocodile angles? No, nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. That's close enough, I guess. Kind of. The state gets us. You hate to see it. All right, we got the crocodile angle. Let's just see it through. Come on, there it is. All right, love it. I mean, I'll throw a stake on you, even though you're probably not going to attack, I'd reckon. <laughs> this feels dirty. This feels very dirty. Keep rolling me. At this point, Hatching Chick is providing an extra, we'll say two damage times three for the Lynx. Is that better than just making the Lynx trigger again? Probably not. Hmm. -mm. Or maybe just throw in another Lynx? I mean, that's effectively the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> if you think about it. Um... I really don't want to get rid of the Hatching Chick, but I'm, I, I feel like it's better to get rid of it. Though it is a bit more of a... Let's try it. Stop talking, just do it. Yeah, I think that was the right call. <laughs> I don't think there's any team that isn't like full summons that can handle this. Like how do you counter this kind of team? I have no idea. Starting with a fish. And we'll go a couple beavers. That seems reasonable. Naive sardines. There's me. What are we if not just a bunch of naive sardines, you know? Seahorse is okay. Um, I guess we do something like this. We've stacked the odds in our favor, as far as getting level ups next turn goes. And we're just drawing out the wazoo today. That works. Ooh, speaking of level ups. 
think we do this and we do this. Team solid. And a kangaroo. Look at that. I don't think we're gonna lose. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah, we're good. I'm gonna say with a kangaroo sheep, that's a pretty strong little bit of something, you know? Um, I think I like hair. We can get him cooking a little bit. Now let's just roll for some <laughs> speaking of duplicates. Didn't even get to finish my sentence and they're just like, here you go. Have at it. Thank you for not sniping the seahorse, Mr. Mosquito. Alrighty. Level me and level me. What have we got to work with here? We could go Kraken Snipes. I mean, Kraken with the seahorse sheep actually kind of makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I like this. Hold on to the hatching chick for a second. And I think, oh, we draw. Okay. That's fine. What if we do something like this? And I'm gonna say we don't actually need Hatching Chick here. Of course, this is when we're gonna find a bajillion Hatching Chicks. <laughs> Hold on to you. I don't wanna level up yet. I'm looking for a tier five. If we can get some Oh, I don't know. Eagles, crocodiles. Something interesting there. I think that would be good. Ox is kind of tempting, actually. Run something like this. We don't need a level up on him, though. I said we, I said we don't need a level up on him. If we could cut it out. That would be huge. There it is, and then, yeah, the blowfish kind of sauced us a little. We need snipes to go with our krakens. Um, those aren't snipes, but snapping turtle is kind of huge, high key. So for that reason, I'm thinking, the kangaroo isn't really vibing here. I'm going to say. What if we do it like this? Mm, banana, maybe. I think that's a, a bad play, per se. Love it. Not too bad at all. Alright. Oh, I just figured it out. <laughs> this is 20% health from all other pets. So if we just get you huge and then give you the skewer, we're golden. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're just rolling here. Hold on to the fried shrimp, maybe. I don't like this. This is my new game plan. <laughs> Just the crack and build. Hmm, I don't like that at all. <laughs> We're getting close. I can see the vision. We're just not quite there yet. Um, so I think we can go here. 
and then combine you, give you this guy. We do have a level up coming here. That's huge. I'll give him a cucumber too. Tell me it's not working. <laughs> This is looking pretty good. Uh, maybe we go a lionfish? Deals damage for its attack. There's our kraken. We got a cow as well. That's huge. I mean, the ox is obviously going to go soon. This might be actually kind of cool. All right, level me. I think we do this. This is a one team wonder of sorts. Um, I th think, I don't think I like the wide scaling on the team spirit because the Kraken's just gonna nuke it anyways. But I would like to get, um, let's do this. Don't hit the cow. Of course, hit the cow. I would like to get, well, one, snipes. I think snipes would be fantastic here. Hmm. Well, that's an issue. All right, that worked out. But yeah, overriding the, the skewer kind of hurts, doesn't it? Um, what I've been trying to say, and I keep getting distracted, is I want to find a manta ray. A tiger. Alright, what if we say screw the manta ray? We go here. Well, there's the manta ray. <laughs> um, we do need to get you attack so that you can go before our snipes i.e. the crocodile. Is that enough? Enough to draw. <laughs> Just barely. Ooh, I like this. Okay, level me here. Lionfish can go. We do this. Flashlight, of course. And then we go crocodile into a fried shrimp. Make him slightly less healthy, but we're going to have him trigger before the croc, which is huge. And we're good. So far, so good. I'm liking this team so far. Okay, so we want to have you here now for the for the flashlight. And I think we're just looking for crocodiles here, or maybe tigers. We're gonna like this for now. Um, I think the kraken, the initial kraken hit, probably is enough. We don't need the, the tiger on it here. Huge. I don't think we need to buy sell anybody. I don't think we need the drink me liquid either. Alright, I like where we're at right now. love it. I like it. I love it. So we'll go. Yeah. All right. We got some scaling now. Keep you cooking along. That's fantastic. Maybe just go here. And we're doing it. 
<laughs> we're some I don't know how this is working as well as it is, but I'm here for it. And now I think we just need levels. Hold on to you. We'll probably put on the croc. If we find the kraken, maybe we'll do kraken. Ooh. I'm glad we waited. Hold on to you. I guess we do this actually. Now we can find either Kraken or Crocodile. Beautiful snipe on that butterfly. Oh baby. I love it. Dude, this team is insane. This is like... It, it is snipes. <laughs> it's not like a snipe counter, but... This is a pretty solid snipe setup here. Kraken is super strong. I didn't realize that it didn't debuff itself. I think that's a big part of it. But even just having a big Kraken and then having snipes after, it's like a guaranteed nuke of their backline. Pretty good. Well, I hope you enjoy. If you did, drop a like, comment, sub. Love hearing from y'all. Helps out the channel as well. Thank you so much, and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.